Oh. What? We're recording. What? Hey, hello. <laughs> Why did you do that? Colin and Shreya Blake here <laughs> with Lay Roots. And we're going to do a little live video here. What? Live video? Yeah. And it's, uh -oh. uh, it's again, it's Topic Roulette for Shreya. She doesn't know. I don't know. I'm I don't know why you like doing that I'm to looking, me. I'm looking at my list of topics here. Yeah. So, um, oh, interesting conversation I had the other day. Okay. With a prospective client. Liente? S yeah. So this person had a chat with me and had mm -hmm. a chat with a number of other attorneys. Okay. Yeah. They're having a bit of analysis paralysis. All right. So they're getting into the the problem of, you know, should I do this? Should I do this? Or should I do this one? Or should right. I do this one? We see that a lot. Right. People just want to read all the stuff and watch all the videos. And they, they don't do anything. Right. Because they, they can't decide which is best. And, um, you know, we have, a, we have a strategy that we like and we think is fantastic. Yeah. Other attorneys have a strategy that they like that they think is fantastic, even though it's not as fantastic as ours. But. <laughs> well, that's why ours is better. Yeah. So what I am getting to is that this person asked a, a question asking me my take on something another attorney said. Mm -hmm. And so it's really hard to do that because I don't know exactly what the attorney was saying. Right. So what I've done in the past, people have asked me random questions like, well, I read this on the internet and what about this thing? Yeah. And so I usually approach that by being like, send me the thing that you read right. because I don't know that it says what you think it says. Yeah. And so that's why I don't I don't trash other attorneys when, yeah. when they say these things. I mean, this thing was really bad, but I don't know what context they might Taking it in and it, it's Are we going to say what the thing been, is? Yeah, we're getting there. I'm just, I'm All building right. up to it. But so I'm going to talk about what this person said to me, the client said to me. And I don't know if this is what the attorney meant, but hopefully not. Anyway, so this person was looking at creating, he's been analyzing having an umbrella LLC or an asset management LLC right. or a holding company LLC, whatever you call it. It's mm -hmm. the LLC on top that owns all the other sub LLCs. Yes, which is a very common strategy or structure. Yeah. Um, for people, they're with, always got one. Yeah, multiple assets. Yeah. So this person had just spoken with an attorney here in Washington who told him that he didn't need to bother forming this holding LLC or Wyoming L or umbrella LLC in <laughs> Wyoming. He said he might. As, it's just the same. Form it in Washington. Hmm. Mind blown. Mind blown because there are very large differences between holding. God damn, I can't I can't speak today. Forming or having an umbrella LLC in Wyoming versus Washington. So let's get into it. Crazy transition. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. What are the differences, Colin? So Throw some at me. So I the, can think of one. So the reason that many people go to Wyoming, why it's very popular, is for one, their their secretary of state is very fast at doing formations. It's they like are. it's a business for them. Yeah. Um, and they're is, so nice. They're very nice. Um, it's it's cheap. Mm -hmm. It's you know a fifty dollar annual fee. Yeah. And the big things so, are one, they're efficient, mm -hmm. they're less expensive to maintain. Yeah. And the big ones are they don't publish your personal information. That's a good one on the internet. So you get privacy, mm -hmm. which is usually key in an asset protection plan. Yes. They have more protections in their laws for single member LLCs. They do. Washington doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. Washington says, your creditor can take everything. No big deal. And another important distinction, I think, for people to know is that having a spouse-owned LLC is the same as having a single-member LLC in yeah. Washington. Yes. And then 
Also, Wyoming doesn't have any business tax. There's no business license. They do have a business tax, but just not for a holding company. Right. Yes. There's a there's a tax based on assets in Wyoming. Yeah. But just having a business and earning income outside of Wyoming doesn't uh, lead to any business taxes. Right. There's no business license requirement. Right. So if you opt to form your umbrella LLC in Washington, mm-hmm. you you register with the state, your personal information is published, or you pay much more to disguise your your personal information you mm-hmm. have to file annual taxes yes on all your income so you pay an, a tax on your gross revenue yeah and so taking advantage of another jurisdiction like wyoming so another state let's say um allows you a little more flexibility with your income with your privacy and your choice of law. Yeah. Which is really cool. And your happiness. And your happiness. And your you pe- get to live more carefree. Yeah. And your peace of mind. Yeah. I forgot about our little tagline. Yeah. Live more carefree in Wyoming. But <laughs> you don't actually have to be in Wyoming. But it's the better choice over Washington LLCs. For that asset ma- management thing. For that asset management LLC. Yeah. So if some attorney tells you that, don't listen to them. I don't know. I don't know if this is what that attorney said, but. It might not be. It's sort of like the thing where people sometimes also just hear what they want to hear, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so off base that that's why I don't think this attorney actually said it in that way. Yeah. But maybe they did. (laughs) It's pretty scary. (laughs) All right. We out.